Before I invite the speaker, there will be an open evaluation for this speech. So everyone will get a piece of this paper and please write down your evaluation based on the speech give, given by our guest speaker over here. Now, may I invite Yashwan for his speech number five, Learning from Failure. Yashwan, Learning from Failure. It was the 90th minute. The opponent had a lead by one goal. My team and I felt the pressure as we still had faith that we could win the school football league. My team's best right winger dribbled past two defenders on the wings and he was about to shoot. Suddenly, he was tackled by the defender and it was a red card and we got a penalty. And at that moment, Luck was most definitely on our side. As the team captain, I stepped up. I put the ball on the ground and I took three steps back. I looked at the goalkeeper straight in the eye and I took my shot. Thunderous cheer filled the atmosphere. I could hear claps and whistles. Unfortunately, it wasn't for my team. I had missed my penalty. We lost. I failed. Good evening, I bid to the fellow Toastmasters and guests. Michael Jordan once said, I can accept failure, but I can't accept not trying. Michael Jordan is, a, is an example of many highly successful people who have suffered major setbacks, yet became super successful. Today, I'm going to talk about the R secrets. How do highly successful people turn their <coughs> failure into fabulous fame and fortune? I believe in the event of a failure, the first step is taking ownership. This is easier said than done, but nothing is impossible. When faced with failure, the most convenient and common reactions are blaming others, excuses, and worst of them all, denial. I did this too. I blame my team for not playing well. I blame my coach for not training us hard enough. And I even blame my teacher for not pumping enough air into the ball. <laughs> my reaction towards failure made no sense. In fact, it was nonsense. Common sense isn't really common after all. The weekend had passed, and on Monday, my coach called me to have a little chat. He told me to own up to my mistakes so that I could play a better match next time. My coach's simple words gave me a whole new perspective on how to deal with failure. I started working harder in the aim to hone my football skills. Thank you, coach. All of us have had our personal experiences with failure, such as disappointing grades, disappointing behavior, and disappointing results in sports like what I had gone through. However, my dear friends, the true character of a person is only tested in the presence of adversity. So, what's next? Well, once we take ownership, we need to reflect from it and learn from it. It is always important to find the silver lining in any tough circumstances. My father has constantly reminded me that failure is an event. Failure is not a person. Thomas Edison was always criticized for attempting 10,000 times to create a functional light bulb. 
In his defense, he had laughed and said, I have not failed. I have found 10,000 ways that electricity does not work. My dear friends, reflecting back on our failure in the football match made us work harder. This failure had inspired us in our pursuit of becoming better players. All of us have failed in our tests. Instead of sulking about it in a corner or giving people sour faces, I'm guilty of this poor attitude. We should seek guidance from our teachers. And the word fail, for many of us, it sounds like a bad thing. Fail. But let me share an abbreviation that will transform your views on the word fail. Fail is first attempt in learning. Let me repeat that. Fail is first attempt in learning. Thus far, I have shared the power of taking ownership and reflecting from it. Now the hardest part of it all, taking consistent action. An ounce of action is better than tons of intention. Many people understand that. However, only a few people actually execute. Remember, no great achievement has ever, has ever happened without the courage to face and overcome failure. To sum up my speech today, I have shared the three secrets of success, and they are taking ownership, reflecting from it, and taking the appropriate action. I hope I've somewhat given an idea to all of you here today on the right attitude to have when faced with failure. Now my friends, together, let's dream big. But remember, dreams don't work unless we do. Good luck and thank you. Thank you, Yash. Oh, <laughs> Toastmaster's tradition is to shake hands always before giving the stage to you and after giving back after you have presented your speech and giving back the stage to me. Okay. Yeah. Alright, thank you.